Well, as we have seen over the last several days, getting out of New Orleans is difficult enough. But it's even harder when your family has been torn apart. Let's go back to New Orleans and Fox 26's Randy Wallace. Randy. Melissa, military operations are in full swing here at the airport tonight. While the sick and rescue, rescued start filling up the airport, hundreds of others remain under a freeway bridge, still trying desperately to get out of town. They swoop down, one right after the other, like big birds dropping off hospital patients. In the hospital, they were so hot. You know, there is no food, there is no I electricity. Like it, it stinks so bad. It's terrible. The patients being transported to dry land include a newborn baby. Okay. Hundreds of people leave this area by ambulance. At least five hospital patients have died shortly after touching the ground. But it's awful. It's so awful. Awful doesn't even seem to describe the area where evacuees wait to board buses. Debris is everywhere. The smell is overwhelming. Many of those who wait were rescued from their homes by helicopters. The guy came in and we went through the window and we just held on and he brought us up in a the helicopter. They're anxious to leave, but some can't take the trip because of missing loved ones. Not till my daughter comes. I can't leave her yet. This woman stays behind because of children. Children who belong to strangers. About four boys and three girls, a total of seven children without their parents, it's, it's, it's including this one. This is a newborn one here without their parents. Sean Jackson was rescued from the roof of her apartment complex. They came and just started handing up their babies and no parents came. They told us whatever we do, don't leave the children. I'm just trying to do my part. Hopefully their parents are on the way. Getting on one of these buses doesn't mean the nightmare is over for these folks. They're still left to wonder what loved ones they've lost where they're going to live now, and how they'll survive. But even though it's the most horrendous thing these people have ever endured, they have something possibly thousands of others no longer have, life. I lost everything except my family and my dog. You're standing there telling me that you lost everything and you got a smile on your face. I'm alive. We got to have a lot. I'm alive. I'm alive. Even though the looting, lawlessness, and violence remain a major concern here, all that's being overshadowed by hope. Mike, Melissa, back to you. Incredible stories of survival. Thank you, Randy.